and this is my journey through tarot. So, baby Sussex, I thought this would be a great, uh, uh, fun thing to do today. Um, so, Archie is 21 months old, and the announcement of baby number two came, but actually number three, if we count uh, Megan's miscarriage. Uh, but the message came almost 37 years exactly to the day when Charles and Diana announced their second child, Harry. So, the cards I'm going to use today are the um, Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini, and then the new Palladini Tarot. Now, David Palladini has passed away recently, and I think it just brings more significance to these cards, and hopefully he's lending a hand from the spirit side. The Aquarian <coughs> Tarot is the first of uh, Palladini's efforts in uh, interpreting tarot cards. And I would imagine, just like any artist, it was a job, you know. But apparently, um, years after the, the deck became so uh, useful, years later he decided to update the deck with uh, this uh, fresh knowledge and years of experience. So uh, this Aquarian Tarot is very uh, gentle tarot and for the subject of baby Sussex I think it's just perfect and especially in this age of Aquarius. Uh, if you like I'll give you a little tour of the cards and uh, they're really beautifully illustrated. You can see this is a very thoughtful deck. There's lots of amazing imagery in here and but it's simple uh, fresh, um, I say it's perfect Aquarian energy uh, for these cards. We'll give them a few shuffles and um, just to loosen them up and as a matter of fact they do feel kind of stiff. I haven't used these cards in a little bit and I've never used them uh, extensively so they're still uh, in effect really new although I have included them in different rooms of the house just so they get a feeling of uh, you know my spirit in this house and you know tonight which is today is the 27th and tonight is uh the or we're experiencing now the complete full moon and so i'll be laying out my favorite uh, decks of cards spreading them out near an open window to kind of absorb uh, any good uh, energy that they might get from that uh, new moon and a silly thing to do i suppose but anything that you do uh, ritualistically in your life that lends you peace or gives you confidence, uh, how can we call that silly? If you cross yourself when you walk into the church, if you um, have some uh, little routines that you do, if you don't walk under a ladder, if you are uncomfortable when a black cat crosses your path, so uh, if uh, breaking a mirror makes you cringe thinking about seven years of bad luck, um, those are just you know little things that lend us comfort. And we, we pass them off, and we say, well, that's just a foolish little thing that I do. But in effect, uh, they may have uh, guidance for you. So we'll cut these and we'll put them back together. Do two more shuffles and then start in on baby Sussex. How beautiful. What an amazing life that child's going to have. Got a wonderful baby brother. He's got a good start in life. And um, what he's going to witness his parents doing around the world in terms of their good works, um, this is going to set off more generations of wonderful folks, I think. So we're going to take six cards, typical Celtic cross, and then we'll take four off in the end uh, to uh, finish that up. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. You know, put these aside because this is our little bucket of treasure that we're going to use in a minute to help uh, determine uh, the last part of that Celtic cross. So these cards, let's see what we have as a signifier for baby Sussex. And the signifier card is the Nine of Rods. And the Nine of Rods speaks to us of a challenge. Um, this Nine of Rods is particularly uh, peaceful. Typically, the Nine of Rods in some of the, in most of the other decks, is a little uh, uh, worn, or maybe feel like he's uh, outside of the center of, of the major activity. This Nine of Wands does, in fact, stand up front just a bit to the other rods that are in this uh, reading. So perhaps this 
uh, Nine of Rods. This baby Sussex will be just a little separate. As a matter of fact, he'll be he'll be an American um, <laughs> born to the royal. So that's pretty special. And I didn't know that dual citizenship. So that's the Nine of Rods. We'll put it off to the side a little bit here as a signifier. The challenge to baby Sussex, Nine of Rods, is going to be the Two of Rods. And the Two of Rods speaks to us of plans, uh, making plans for the future. And uh, Rods are fire, action, power. Uh, and this uh, fellow in charge of this Rod is certainly surveying his future. And, um, and that will be the challenge to this special baby Sussex. A special baby Sussex challenge will be plans for its future. I can imagine that would be a bit complicated for someone with his um, pedigree. The base of this reading, which is going to speak to us of an overlying um, influence over the reading, is the sun. And you know what's funny? I just did a, a draw uh, two days ago on Harry, then yesterday on Megan, and the sun was prominent in both of those readings. And here the sun comes up as the overall guiding light uh, to this uh, reading, the sun. And uh, the sun just speaks to us. of this, this looks like an open book. And this sun is very pleased and serene with himself. And I would say this certainly is, um, is what this lovely child has in his future. Now, the recent past for baby Sussex is going to be the chariot. And the chariot uh, uh, speaks to us of you know, things coming forward quickly. And this is a major arcana card. So his uh, past certainly was filled, before he even knew it, of things moving rapidly because over the last um, year or so, uh, with the Sussexes in the United States, well, not for the whole year, but their, their journey to eventually land in the United States has really come fast. And he's in the belly of Mama, so he's been right there for that journey. The sky, the uh, the the best uh, outcome, the the uh, what you're looking forward to for this baby, are the lovers, and how beautiful another major arcana of the uh, terror. And the lovers uh, speak to us of union, uh, really being committed to one another. Uh, they've got the rods for action back here in their in their um, in their tools, and uh, these two are really entranced with each other. And what a beautiful beautiful um, scenario for that baby to come up in. Now the um, the potential big future for this child, baby Sussex, is the King of Swords. How interesting that this royal child would get a, uh, a future uh, mentioning the King of Swords. Now the King is always the master of his suite and the swords are truth, justice, rules, law, right, not wrong, specifically not wrong. And uh, this baby Looks like he's got a very strong future for him, uh, if the King of Swords is an indication of that. Now, the last four cards to uh, finish off this Celtic cross, we're going to speak to this baby's self now. And remember, he, he he's, he's being made. He's in the womb. So let's talk about baby Sussex right now. And it's a Two of Swords, and it's a matter of making choices. A Two of Swords, these always represent for me truth and justice, some variation on that theme. And uh, uh, this uh, woman here is blinded, just like the Justice card, where Justice is blind. So we don't know exactly which way this uh, child, which direction this child's going to go in. He's still being made. How could he? And he's got some, some ethereal, he has some spiritual uh, guidance that would have been uh, worked out before he uh, came down to be uh, the future baby Sussex. But that's where he's at right now, a matter of choices. The environment that he's in, however, oh, is the Three of Swords, which is a broken heart. And, you know, sad to say that is true. I mean, I can imagine that uh, Harry, the father's heart, is somewhat broken for the situation that he finds himself in with his mother country and his loving family in England. And uh, I can imagine that uh, Meghan's uh, heart has been broken by the difficult relation she has with her family, uh, excepting her mother, of course. Um, so he's in the environment of broken hearts and also, um, you know, all the controversy that comes with this uh, child uh, and this family uh, starting anew. So that's an interesting uh, way for this environment to be uh, described for this uh, baby Sussex. The hopes and the fears for this child is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen is, is very high up in the, in the, in the family of, of kings in the suit. And uh, she doesn't have uh, complete control of everything, but she is very 
uh, much in charge of this huge cup that she can fill with passion, with love, with caring, and with uh, emotion. And uh, we hope that, uh, as a hope, that this is how uh, this child finds itself. This kind of wants, I want to say that this is Megan, that this is Mama. Hopes and the fears. And then the final outcome for baby Sussex is going to be the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords talk to us of being uh, restricted. And certainly any child born into that situation, including his, his big brother Archie, will find themselves restricted just by the very um, nature of the family that they're born into. So there will be restrictions that this child has to has to learn about and know about, obviously. I would like to clarify this just a little bit more, and uh, I, I think what we'll do is we'll use the new Paladini Tarot to do that. I'm just going to give this a couple of quick shuffles. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to uh, show you this deck in any length. I just want to get three cards out of here that helps us define define this baby Sussex, this new baby Sussex, and I hope. I hope that something in here will help us decide if this is going to be a boy or a girl. Will this be a boy or a girl? To, and to help clarify the Eight of Swords as a final outcome for this uh, child. Okay, the Baby Sussex, three clarifiers regarding this Eight of Swords. And if you can work in there, Spirit, just a little hint about whether we're looking at a boy or a girl, that would be beautiful. The first card to clarify, is again the Eight of Swords. And you know, it's just remarkable to me. These are, when I get these double uh, verifications, it just makes me feel like I'm, I'm exactly on the right track. So this uh, first card, I think, is just to let me know that I'm, I, I'm, I'm on the right track. I'm going the right way. The second card, and we won't pull more than three, the second card of this verification is the Eight of Rods. And the Eight of Rods speaks to us of a lot of things uh, happening at the same time. And for me, these rods are coming from the heavens down to earth, and they're aligning themselves to land in the, in the uh, embodiment of this uh, beautiful new child. So the eight of rods, lots of things coming to the front. And the last card that I'll pull as clarifiers for that eight of swords is, in fact, the eight of cups, having to walk away from uh, something that uh, is very, very important to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cups leaving in a somewhat turbulent uh, sky here. And I'm sorry to say this doesn't give me any clarification whatsoever on this on this situation. Um, so it's all still up in the air. You know, probably it is known to someone what is the gender of this child, but it's not known to me. And I'll, I could go back and look at these cards quickly to see if something gave me a hint. And it could be this Queen of Cups that was the hopes and the fears. Perhaps we've got a female child coming here. Hey, I've got 50% chance of getting that right. But um, this is gonna be uh, the final for this reading on Baby Sussex. Sorry, it's the best I can do. I'm new at this, but there we go. So the new Baby Sussex, the best I can d d uh, tease out of the cards is that this uh, Queen of Cups may be a hint as to the sex of that child. And like I said, I've got a 50-50 chance, so give me a break. However it goes, I just want to say that I really appreciate your being here. There's nothing more that I enjoy than thinking about someone out there watching my videos, being interested, or even having a good laugh at this crazy old man trying to divine some sort of future out of tarot cards. But if that's who you are, welcome to my journey through tarot. I'm Mark, and it's ciao for now. Thank you.